this short video is going to cover is the unpacking setup and a brief operational uh, discussion on the Synergy Options series. A few words before we start here. The piece is going to come in a box, uh, just like the one in front of me right here. Uh, when transporting this box, if you're going to use a dolly or a cart, you need to be careful and take caution uh, to support the piece throughout its length. If it's just in the center, there's potential to damage the piece because it is heavy. So make sure if you're going to use a dolly or a cart that the piece is supported throughout its full length. So the first step we're going to do here, we've already done, is we carefully cut open the top of the box. What we're going to do now is step through the entire setup of the piece from unpacking to the operational phase. So first step, we open our box. What you'll observe is two styrofoam packing pieces in here. We can remove those. And then you'll have your three backs for the piece. Remove each of these backs, put them off to the side, we'll use them in the later phase of the install. Now that we've got the packing material and the backs removed from the box, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the piece from the box. In order to do this, we're going to rotate the box onto its side and pull the piece up. How we have it here is this is the back of the piece on this end. So we're going to roll the box onto the back of the piece. Now we've got the piece resting on its back. We'll slide the piece completely out of the box. completely unpacked. We can observe to see if there's any damage to it in this state. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and install the backs and all the electrical connections on the piece. Okay, next phase we're going to go through here is we're going to install the backs and all the electrical connections on the piece. And one of the backs which you're going to observe is you're going to observe a red bag as you unbag this. This bag contains the transformer that will power the power on the piece. We'll remove this and set it off to the side for now. But where this is going to plug in is the only external connection we have here on the back rail is where this piece is going to plug in. We'll go through that a little bit later. Now we'll step through some of the electrical connections on the back and install our backs. So what you'll what you will see on the piece is three wires on one on each back. On both the left and right side, you'll see a two pin connection. This is for the headrest, and we'll install that while installing the back. In the center section, you'll see a barrel connector. This is for the reading light on the center section of the piece, and we'll also install that as we install the backs here. So we can unbag each of the backs. Observe when you remove the center section is two wires. One is a 
three prong wire for the power strip in the center section and the other end of our barrel connector for our light. These will be zip tied together. That zip tie needs to be removed before installation. And these cords will come out the back. Phase here is hooking up our electrical connections. We have a red bag here that has our power supply or our transformer in it, and that's going to connect to the plug on the bottom rail, the two pin plug that we observed earlier. And then we've got our three pin plug for our power strip that is actually in the center of the piece, and we'll illustrate that later when we do a brief operational check of the piece. So we'll unbox our transformer. You should have a box, and then you will also have the piece that will plug into our power strip or our outlet. Power supplies, small black box with a two pin on one end and the input for the AC power on the other end. We we'll made up our AC power end and then on the underneath the piece where we had two pin with the locking connector, we'll make that together, close the lock, and plug in our piece. Second step, we'll plug in the three pin for the power strip in the center console. Those are the only two external connections from the piece that need to be made, and the piece should be fully functional. What we'll do next is we'll just turn the piece around, and we'll do a brief operational check of all the functions on it. Now that we've got the piece all set up and powered up, what we're going to do is do a quick functional check of everything on the unit. The unit has cup holders on both the left and right seat facing that operate the power recline and the power headrest and the light in the cup holder. So each of these, when the appropriate buttons press, should operate the function. Power recline on each side is operating properly. Green buttons will be the headrest, and the headrest is operating on each side. The light button on the cups will operate the light ring blue inside each cup. So our cups are all functional and operational. In the center section, we've got two features. First, you need to lift the top piece, and you'll see the reading light. Two switches on the reading light will operate each side of the light. That's functionally checked correct. Then if we fold down the center section, again, the top must be up before the center section can be folded down. We have our power strip. Now on our power strip, when it lifts up, we should observe a green light. And we have a green light. The power strip is also functional. So all the functions on this option series are working. Everything is connected and installed correctly. And now we've got the piece set up for our customer. Just a few reminders on it. You know, if we're going to transport it with a dolly or a cart, the piece needs to be supported throughout its whole length to prevent any damage. Also, if you're going to slide the piece back and forth, do not use the arms to pull the piece. Push or pull the piece by the bottom along its whole length. Otherwise, it could potentially cause damage to the arms of the piece. 